What I, when we're in the United States in the Armenia Caucus with regard to Artsakh, um, our main, or one of our main purposes is to try to draw recognition uh, to Artsakh. That is, in fact, uh, whether it's de jure or de facto, an, an international state. Uh, and part of that is uh, because we know that you're an active democracy, we know that your government is, uh, is pursuing economic development in a very uh, important and, uh, and, and influential way. Um, and um, we also are concerned, of course, about uh, your military situation, because we would like to see a settlement of the conflict and, and peace. Uh, so when I'm here today, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about each of those things briefly. I believe the last time I was here, Mr. Speaker, I was, um, I was an observer for the presidential election. President Lukasian was re-elected, I think. I don't know how many years ago that was. I remember his smile. He was always laughing and telling jokes. And, and, um, and I was an observer of the, the presidential election. And it was uh, totally transparent. We went to uh, a little village uh, not too far from Stepanakart where they make pottery. And we witnessed the uh, election there the, uh, in the small village. Um, there was an absentee ballot for people who were disabled and couldn't uh, come to the polls. So there was a little ballot for what we call absentee ballot. And I remarked on the, at the time, both here in Stepanakart and also when I went back to the United States, how Artsakh was a lot, uh, an active democracy in every way. Um, uh, you know, some people in New Jersey criticize our democracy and say that uh, our democracy has problems. I didn't see any problems here. So the first thing that we tell uh, a story uh, in the Congress and in the United States is about Artsakh being a democratic country and a country that uh, uses the rule of law. The second thing we talk about is your right to self-determination and the fact that uh, under the Soviet Constitution, I, I can't believe I mentioned the Soviet Constitution, but I do, that under the Soviet Constitution, you were an oblast and that you had the right pursuant to a referendum to determine your own future and become an independent country and that you exercise that right through the referendum and through uh, basically responding to the military attacks uh, that came from Azerbaijan uh, and therefore under international law you have every right to be a state and be recognized as a state. And the third thing is that uh, through economic development, through social welfare, uh, that your government acts uh, to try to help and benefit the welfare of its citizens and that's actually been more manifested to me coming here today and going to the schools and seeing the different things that you do to, to train young people and to look towards the future. And what we do in Congress with the Armenia Caucus is designed to, uh, to, I guess, show forth these various three points. We have, as the speaker mentioned, celebrations of your Independence Day. Uh, we try to provide humanitarian assistance uh, as you know, when, when the Congressman Valdeo was here two days ago, uh, one of those uh, uh, programs was to uh, clear the landmines through the HALO Institute. Um, and part of what I would, part of the reason I'm also happy today is because um, it's not only old, you know, members of Congress like myself who've been around for a long time, 30 years, but now we have younger people like Congresswoman Gabbard, who's here today, or Congressman uh, Valdeo, who was here two years ago, because we want the Armenia Caucus, you know, there's those of us like myself, we don't know how much longer we're going to be around, but we're going to have younger people, younger members of Congress who will be here that will carry on, that will carry on uh, after we're gone. And lastly, over the last few days, uh, both in Armenia and here, we've been hearing from your representatives as well as from uh, representatives of the government of Armenia about what the situation is militarily, uh, concern in the aftermath of the four-day war, uh, what actions we can take in Congress to try to uh, create confidence measures, uh, to try to prevent another war, to make the Minsk uh, process successful. Uh, and I promise you that we will continue to do that. That's one of the main reasons that we're here. Um, 
But whatever we do, we will always insist uh, that Artsakh has to be Armenian um, and that it has to be able to exercise its right of self-determination uh, and we will do whatever we can to pursue those goals. Thank you very much.